I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. The salinity of your saltwater tank. In other words, how salty is it? How do you know? Well, you can... 35 PPT. I'm just kidding. No one can do that reliably. You can test it manually, not by tasting it. You can use a hydrometer. You can use a refractometer. There's even digital hydrometers. Or if you have a Hydro's tank controller, you can test it with a probe. This is available on the X10 and available on the launch as of the making of this video. Now, salinity probes sometimes have a little bit of a bad rep. Other companies have tried them in the past. One of those companies went under and the other one abandoned the probe after an amount of time. So the Hydro's probe is a little bit different. I'll talk to you about that throughout the show. But why do we care? Yes, we care about how salty the water is in our tank. And here's where a lot of reef keepers get bent out of shape. Let's say the salinity of your tank is 35 PPT parts per thousand, or 1.025 if you're using specific gravity. People take the reading of their salinity and they go, oh, it's 1.023 or 34 PPT. I gotta do a water change. I gotta change this thing quick. No, it's fine. You don't have to freak out. If you're usually 35, you measure your water, you're 33, you're 37 PPT, or you're usually 1.025, you find out your water's 1.022, 1.027, it's not the end of the world. You don't have to freak out. Just chill, man, or for ladies. Next time you do a water change, you can make the water a little saltier if you're low, or a little less salty if you're high. You don't have to freak out, but it is important to monitor your salinity because certain bad things can happen to your tank, like if your auto top-off system gets stuck on, dumps a bunch of fresh water in your tank, drops the salinity, that can mess up the invertebrates and the fish, or, heaven forbid, don't tell me you've ever done this, you make the big mistake of plumbing your RODI unit directly into your system. Don't ever do this. I don't care how many times you've tried it, years you've done it, and it said it doesn't fail. Massive problem because your RODI unit is stupid. When the float switch fails, because at some point it will, it's just gonna run, make your saltwater tank fresh, and then overflow your system. So, measuring your salinity, Inside of a controller is great insights into your tank. What I don't want you to do is freak out if it's just a little bit north or south of where your ideal reading is. So with that, let's look at this hydro salinity probe. Let's set it up and see what this thing's all about. The software side of adding the salinity probe is of course super simple. All I'm gonna do is go over to inputs. Then I'm going to click on the plus in the bottom right of the screen. I'm gonna give it a name, in this case, salinity. Create. What is it? Well, it's a probe, probe port, and then if you have the launch, it pops up for you automatically. Hydros launch salinity port one. Easy enough. All I gotta do then is upload my changes. It's there. Now I'm gonna do that first just down a habit. Then I'm gonna come back in here and actually configure this thing. Probe K. This can trip you up. If you're using the hydro salinity probe, which you should be, the probe K is 10. If you're using any other type of salinity probe, I don't know why you do that. You're gonna to have to figure out what the K is. But for the hydro salinity probe, it's 10. Then you can set up your safe range. 30 to 36, that's the default, that's fine by me. Graph limits, look, there's, I'm never gonna go down to 20. So let's set this to 29, 50. Oh my gosh, what is this, the Dead Sea? No, okay, so we're gonna do 29 to 40, temperature input. I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. Not gonna worry about an offset. We're not gonna calibrate it yet. I'll talk about that in a minute. Notification level, that's red. I wanna know very quickly if something's off with my salinity. Then I'm gonna upload my changes. All right, at this point, the probe is set up. I'm gonna go back to my status screen and right here is the salinity reading. Done. Now you could stop there, but it's highly recommended that you calibrate the salinity probe. Now, here's the catch. You can't calibrate it day one. In fact, you need to wait one to three weeks for the probe to break in before you calibrate it. So hold your seahorses. I couldn't resist, sorry. Wait a week or two and then calibrate it. Now, if you wanna speed up that process, CoralView has instructions on their websites on how to do that. So how do you calibrate it? It's super simple. First, float the two salinity calibration bottles in your tank or sump for at least 10 minutes. Then place the salinity probe into the 28 PPT solution. 
swirl it around to dislodge any trapped air bubbles, and then you go into your hydro sap, select the salinity input, then go down to calibrate. Make sure you're selecting the 28 PPT calibration. You're going to wait two minutes for the readings to stabilize. Now stabilize meaning that the numbers aren't making big swings. After two minutes and the numbers are stabilized, hit accept. Then rinse the probe with RODI water and repeat the process for the 35 PPT solution. Place the probe in the 35 PPT solution, tap the probe to dislodge any air bubbles, hit calibrate on the 35 PPT section, waiting two minutes to make sure the readings are stabilized, then hit accept. After that, upload the changes and you're done. Once I'm done with the calibration process, I leave the salinity probe in the 35 PPT solution. Then I go back to my status screen and I check the salinity reading to make sure that it's reading 35 or close to it. If it's off more than 0.5, I'm going to redo the calibration process. I found the Hydro Salinity Pro to be very easy to set up, very accurate, and very stable. It's a winning combo for me. Why not monitor the salinity on your tank, and please don't plumb your RODI system directly into your saltwater tank. That's an accident waiting to happen. Even if you have the Salinity Pro, it's going to alert you. Still likely not going to save things. Just don't do it. But monitoring your salinity, absolutely, I'm going to add it. I had the capability on the launch. All I had to do was get the probe kit, add it to the launch, calibrate it, set it up like you saw, and I'm done. I'm Mark Callan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Till next time, enjoy your tanks and thirty-six point two.